One two pitches, rope towards left center field. It splits the gap. That'll roll towards the wall. Benvika over. It'll kick off his leg. One run's going to score, and Thice behind him is Towns, and McCarthy is in as well. It is a bases clearing double for Robbie Coleman, and Virginia is in front by a four to one score. Pitch on the way, swung on, grounded back up the middle. There's a base hit. McCarthy, or excuse me, Coleman around third base. He's going to come home and score. Pavin Smith at first base has made it a 5-1 to one Virginia lead. An RBI single for Pavin, and the Hoos are in front 5-1. to one. And he faced 15 batters. Spinning the throw to second base, and they got him. How about the inside pickoff move from David Rosenberger? One ball, no strikes. The pitch. Vice hits a breaking ball deep to right field and towards the corner. Delk looks up. It is towards the pole, and that is a fair ball and a three-run home run for Matt Dice. Dice back in the home run column is eighth of the season, and that breaks it wide open. Virginia leading Longwood 9-1 to one here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Matt Dice just kind of sits back in that breaking ball and just all over it. Now, the other thing that it's not as if we're forgetting about it, but you got to keep in mind, as the next pitch grounded towards third, backhanded by Towns, going to be a long throw, and it is right on the money to Thice, stretching out for out number three. One, two, three. Go the Longwood Lancers. One, two, pitch grounded out towards short. No backfields. Goes to Gerstemeyer at second for one. Relay to first is in time. It goes 6-4, three on the inning, ending double play as the side is retired. Leading 14 to six, the pitch on the way, tap towards third. Towns will field the high hop, throw on to first. Vice reaches down to make the catch, and Virginia has won it. A 14 to six final score. The offense putting on quite a show tonight. It is 14 runs and 16 hits for the Hoos, who take it over Longwood by a 14 to six final score.